Hello, it's me, Peter, no, me, Joe, and Peter. <laughs> Common mistake now. Um, well, it's our boxer engine. I'm not sure many people have tried this. A few, I think. Because, um, we had some trouble getting it running at first, didn't we? A little bit. Got it sorted finally, though. And, um, very simple. Uh, some people will be wondering how the hell we got them both in mind. It's just using these pieces. Yeah, I've got that. I know you'll probably be going, how stupid, everyone knows that, some people are more professional, but... Right. Um, I'll show you the piston in a minute, I'll just take one out, because we're probably going to destroy this later, and build a faster one. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've just got this flywheel on, for fun. There they are, I think it keeps it running. I'm not sure why, but I'll test that. Yeah, let's just get it going. <laughs> Let's just check that this doesn't keep it running. Because it probably does. Yeah, it seems to keep a nice steady pace. So if your engine isn't running, anyone, put a flywheel on it. Haven't you got them in real cars, obviously. So now I'll just take out a piston randomly out of this side to show you. Because um, a lot of, I've got some instructions um, by the way. I'll probably link them both just like um, here and here. I don't know if this is going to work, but yeah. And there's one that is a double acting one cylinder engine and one that is a two cylinder engine. They've both got full instructions, every single piece and every single detail. It shows you how to build the piston. Um, this has got a lot of people go wrong by having a size two hole. You only have a size one hole in there. Um, you do need to sand the edges of these to make them slightly curved. The other one's more vi like visible. So yeah, size eight. You always use a size eight for some reason because it just fits. It's not too long. If you're too long, they're just rubbish. Just one piston. Um, I'll show you inside the frame what, what it is. Um, I'll show you this side because the way up it is. Right, so you have your air intake, well, air outtake in this case, you're using Hoover. It comes from here. Now, when you've got the piston, it's got two holes at the bottom when it's in. So, you have to have these two, two, one by two by one third plates there so that when it goes in it's never got both open into the hole like that it's always one or the other like that and you have to have room for it to exhaust underneath so that once it's I'll just bring it round once it's tipped that way underneath you'll see like half of this hole appeared and that will let it exhaust so when it's being pulled like that way it will let the air out it will just Anyway, you have to have it to run. So yeah, I think that's about it, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. 